Beautiful friends, beautiful souls, the great solar return is upon us. An event of biblical proportion rings in on April 8th as the solar eclipse completes its journey across North America, igniting with it a wave of energy and dissension unlike anything that we've ever witnessed before. It is going to be amazing. But there seems to be a whole lot of panic and a whole lot of fear being tossed in the direction of the solar eclipse ringing in on April 8th along with a whole lot of really strange and odd warnings. 13 states calling out the National Guard. Warnings from the FAA about airlines and warnings from FEMA. Governments warning to stock up on food and make sure that you have fuel in your gas tank. What do you need fuel in your gas tank if you're not able to go anywhere? So is there any reality to any of this? Will something happen other than a beautiful experience with this solar eclipse? The eclipse literally will dive us into deep darkness, hiding the light from sight, creating a ring of fire, slowly allowing the light to shine brightly once more. A sure sign of amazing things that are going to come in our near future. It doesn't have to be gloom and doom, although there's always a balance of positive and negative no matter what. Today, we are going to dissect the solar eclipse ringing in on April 8th. I'm going to tell you what you should or should not be concerned with, along with specific visions and predictions that Spirit has given me related to the eclipse. Not necessarily happening all on April 8th, but being ignited at that time. Predictions that you're going to want to hear about. This is my Solar Return Eclipse Predictions. The solar eclipse on April 8th is becoming a major event. The National Guard is being deployed and people are being advised to have two weeks of food and to fill their fuel tanks. This could be explained due to the fact that tens of thousands of visitors are expected along the path of totality, but many people believe that they could be preparing for possible earthquakes due to the Devil Comet aligning with the April 8th eclipse. And due to the fact that in 1811, a comet also appeared in the skies during a solar eclipse on the same path and was followed by the biggest earthquakes in American history. Known as the New Madrid earthquakes, around 10,000 earthquakes occurred in just three months time. The biggest measuring at an 8.8 .8 magnitude. They were also the most devastating series of earthquakes in recorded history, but it was a different comet. And while some claim that a solar eclipse can trigger earthquakes, this scenario seems unlikely. This eclipse season is, however, a very rare event. The recent eclipses in August of 2017 and October of 2023, along with the upcoming eclipse on April 8th, form an Aleph and a Tav over the United States. The Aleph and Tav are the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. These eclipses mark off the end of a great year, a 26,000 year period that starts anew with the dawning of Aquarius in the new golden age. Manly P. Hall wrote that high level masons designed America for a peculiar and particular purpose, a secret destiny to bring about the new Atlantis or a new world order, wherein a king descended from a divine race will rule over all in rituals. This king is symbolized as Apollo, Horus, or Nimrod, the father of Freemasonry, and it is thought to be the descendant of the biblical Nephilim or the Sumerian Anunnaki. According to Thomas Horn, this will happen in 2025, which corresponds to several documents published by intelligence agencies, such as the Global Governance 2025, Global Trends 2025, and the 2025 Eagle forecast on world population. NASA is notorious for performing Masonic rituals based on the Egyptian mystery schools, Apollo being the same character as Horus, Sirius representing Isis, and Atlantis being the new golden age that they hope to restore. And during the eclipse on April 8th, NASA is going to fire three rockets named after Atep, the Egyptian serpent god, whose goal was to devour Ra and the sun. And when the sun re-emerges after three minutes of darkness, it will be likened to the rebirth of Horus, their new king of the Golden Age. 
CERN, known for practicing occult rituals at a statue of Shiva, the Hindu god who represents death, destruction, and the end of an age, will be firing up their Hydron Collider to full power during the solar eclipse. And Israel, who is committing atrocities, is preparing to sacrifice a red heifer, a ritual sacrifice to prepare them for taking back the Temple Mound. Red heifers, to be precise. Some Jews and Christians believe they're the key to rebuilding the historic Jewish temple in Jerusalem and to beckoning the Messiah. To understand, you have to go back nearly 2,000 years when the ancient Romans destroyed the last temple in the city. To rebuild it, these believers point to the Bible's Book of Numbers. It commands the Israelites to sacrifice a red heifer without defect or blemish and that has never been under a yoke. Only then can the temple rise again. Those sacred cows were showcased in Washington at a recent prayer gathering. Many evangelicals believe these red heifers will usher Christ's second coming. We need the Messiah to come, right? So for me, the red heifer is red for the blood of Jesus Christ. A massive altar already awaits where the heifers are to be burned. According to some believers, the ceremony needs to be performed right here on the Mount of Olives, looking directly into where the temple once stood. But something else now stands in its place. Once they forcibly take the Temple Mount away from billions of Muslims worldwide, it will predictably thrust the world into a peak of chaos that these secret societies have been designing for centuries. And their plan is to bring order out of chaos with their divine king to rule over the world. But these are all just rituals in fear. Fear is an illusion. We can always choose love. Stay in love, stay in the light. A group of remote viewers and intuitives, including myself, have been feeling, seeing in visions and meditations and just know, deep down inside, as you probably do as well, that something huge is about to sweep over our planet. And whatever it is, it would be, have to be that of biblical proportion. As we have already witnessed, so many Bible prophecy and other prophecies coming into fruition just since the turn of the decade in 2020. So what do you think or feel is going to happen? Do you believe that something major is going to sweep over our planet? And do you believe it's going to happen all on April 8th? I don't. I just believe it's going to ignite. And as I said in past predictions, that ignited back on March 25th when we had the first eclipse. When eclipse season kicked in, that we had the bridge thing happen and many other things happened since. So April 8th is just going to kick it into high gear. It's just going to bring a wave of energy that's well needed on our planet to help people to ascend. To hopefully wake up more of the sleepers. We all want that now, don't we? Last year, I sat right out front with friends, and we watched the eclipse going over Sedona, Arizona. And yeah, people flocked to Sedona and other states and cities where that eclipse crossed over last year. There was no big hype. There were no warnings from the FAA, FEMA, and the government. And there was no problems either, other than a bunch of traffic jams, which I'm sure you don't have to be psychic to know that's going to happen on April 8th. But would anything else happen out of the ordinary? The eclipse is certainly going to mark off an intense time cycle in the United States of America, especially, and all of North America, including Canada and Mexico. But it's definitely going to have a huge effect and change everything that we know it and as we know it for the United States of America. It's not all going to happen in one day. It's going to happen and begin to ignite. It's going to go until the turn of the century in 2030. Everything that we know is about to change. First, we have to get into our time machine and step back to the 1700s, to the year 1778 and 1780, where two different solar eclipses put an X over America. What happened in that time window? The Revolutionary War. Then we step a century ahead to the 1800s, where there were three solar eclipses, 1860, 1869, and 1878 all at the time, of course, of the Civil War. Then we go to our 1900s, and we look back at the year 1970 and 1979. Those eclipses crossing over America. We had the fall of the Berlin Wall, and I can't even remember. I was just a kid then, but I'm sure someone else will tune in in the comments down below. 
And now this brings us to our current time window, to the 2000s that began on 2017 with that first eclipse. Look back at the United States since 2017, friends. So many things. 2017 is when DT came into America. There were a lot of angry people that are continuing to be angry and are still angry. It ignited the, um, with, uh, was it Floyd? That caused all the riots and all of that. We had the 2020 bug that went along with that. And what else? The list seems to go on. We had failed election processes and so many other crazy things. And again, then the list goes on. And the list goes on. la di da di Crazy, right? Crazy. So, what exactly is the eclipse going to ignite? For starters, it shall ignite a great solar return. A time when we shall witness so many more people stepping into the light. Finally, hallelujah. But, also, on a more exciting level, this is going to bring so much of the darkness out. It's literally... Like the gods going in and pulling the darkness out of the closets. It's going to be so wild, friends. Truth, like unlike anything we've ever seen before. Truth that's going to be responsible for truly waking people up on a whole nother level. We need that. And that's the biggest part of this eclipse. See, you know, the dark evil doers, the global elite, think they're hiding behind all that. And they're going to bring in their god or whatever. And in the long run, when people awaken... And take back their power. And that's exactly what this eclipse is going to do. It's going to ignite that on April 8th. And actually, likely April 8th is also a very important marker in time on our planet. And of course, even more importantly, of course, for Americans. With the symbolism in the path of the eclipse is crossing over North America, in turn affecting the rest of the world in a ripple effect. We also have the Devil's Comet. No coincidence there. The total solar eclipse on April 4th, 2024 will shadow North America, crossing Mexico, the United States, and Canada, passing over eight United States cities named Nineveh, drawing a Madrid of similarities to the Syrian eclipse that occurred during a time when Jonah approached Nineveh and urged the Assyrian people to repent. Mathematically speaking, the astronomy of the eclipse is a miracle. The sun is 400 times further from the earth than the moon. The sun is 400 times larger than the moon. And because of that, we can have an eclipse that God created as signs. Which is why we come to the letter Tav, which means a sign or a bark, and its numerical value was 400. Confronted by a new world order and a U.S. president that is carrying out their silent conflict, we are living in a time of reckoning, and through signs, God is speaking directly to those with ears to listen. In Genesis 1.14, God declared the sun and the moon were for signs. Right. The only signs they can give us eclipses, all right? And the nice thing about eclipses, no false prophet can manipulate it. Solar eclipse means judgment is coming upon a nation. Since we become a nation in 1776, there has only been eight total solar eclipses that have completely crossed the United States. Two of them occurred during the revolutionary. Three of them occurred during the civil. Two of them occurred during the Vietnam. Of those eight, only one which was the one seven years ago, it only crossed the United States and no other country. Exodus 4 and 8, remember April 8th, if they do not believe the first sign, which was on August 21st, 2017, they will believe the second sign. That said, why has Homeland Security been preparing to hijack this biblical event? The sheriff called me yesterday And after he got done telling me everything inside this meeting that was happening, I pretty much was nerve rattled after what I heard. Who was this meeting with? It's with Homeland Security. People want to do us harm. Use an event like this where a lot of people are gathered to do some type of terror event. The director of the Lake County Emergency Management Agency told me they've been preparing for the solar eclipse now for about two years. 
They've been preparing for this for two years. Imagine that for two years. He said, during the solar eclipse, while people are all out there looking, they're planning, the intel that they've got is a possible biological attack on people while the solar eclipse is freaking happening. Look, here's from Kenton County, Homeland Security and Emergency Management. Here's what you should do before. Ensure you have a full gas tank. Ensure you are stocked on groceries. Have alternative communications for an eclipse that's going to last about an hour. And here's another one. Buy necessary groceries and gas. Expect heavy traffic and long lines for social local services. Oklahoma, the National Guard will have guardsmen present for the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Communication facilities could become overloaded possibly making cell phone calls difficult. The 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, and radiological and nuclear unit will be housed in Broken Bow in addition to up to 110 to 150 Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. There will be about 150 other first responders and volunteers with many staying at either the sports complex in Broken Bow or in Idabel. Like Jonah, despite our reluctance, we all must be prepared for repentance, even the repentance of our oppressors. We must also be prepared to respond to whatever the new world order has up their sleeve. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. So let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on our armors of light and of love. Before I move on with some very specific predictions revolved around the eclipse and visions that Spirit shared with me, I want to first say welcome to my channel and back to my channel. My name is Joseph Tittle, aka Spearman JT, and I welcome you with infinite love and gratitude. If you're new here, you want accurate predictions, prophecy, and truth, and you want to vibe with the tribe, you got to smash that there, subscribe, friends. Thank you for showing your love. So much time, energy, and effort goes into putting out this free content to all of you. And just simply clicking that love button is good karma. And I thank you for doing so. Down below in the description, you'll find the link to my newsletter, which is free. That way you know what's going on and you know where to find me and you'll never miss any content that I put out. Also, down below in the description, you can find the links to all my social media. And I want to thank all those in the Subscribe Star Awaken Your Spirit community. And all of those that contribute to this channel and make this free content possible for everybody. I thank you with infinite love and gratitude. Let us move on. Moving on to some specific predictions and visions I would love to share with all of you from Team Spirit, my guides who I appreciate so much. So let's face it, when it comes to the eclipse on April 8th, it is going to attract large crowds more than normal because there's so much hype being pushed around it. And even though there's so much hype, and even though we witnessed the same thing here last year on the West Coast, they're making this one appear to be a little bit scary. And, you know, the government knows more than we do. And sometimes, you know, they like to fly their flags ever so falsely, if you know what I mean. So the Spirit says, do not be scared, but definitely be prepared. And Spirit's been telling us that since 2020. And look what happened. I, Back in January 2020, Spirit started saying stock up, and then we had the 2020 lockdown bug. And Spirit is still telling us to keep stocking up and be prepared, not to be scared. And know that there is going to be huge crowds of people no matter what, jamming their vehicles into any available spot, and traffic is going to be an absolute nightmare. I have a vision of an accident on a main interstate that will make, make the travel nightmare way worse. Perhaps delaying people from actually seeing the eclipse at all. Only seeing it from their car and not making it to their destinations. Therefore, I also see visions of people just pulling over on the side of the road. Right on the main highway and getting out of their cars because they're stuck in traffic. People stuck in traffic getting out of their cars to witness this event is also dangerous. Spirit warns people, if you're one of them people, stay in your darn car. Stay in your car if you are on a main road. Illinois comes to me very, very strongly. Illinois came to mind. I had to check, actually, to see, double check to see if Illinois was one of the direct states, and it is. 
So something with Illinois pops up, which I would also expect Illinois to have a potential crazy event playing out, perhaps specifically on April 8th, of course. And then also, not just playing out there, I see a potential crazy event playing out at Niagara Falls. Columbus comes to mind. Kept, for some reason, Columbus popped in my mind. So I went and I looked to see where there's a Columbus. Perhaps there's a town of Columbus actually in Illinois. But Columbus popped in my mind. And then when I went to look, there's actually, and I'm not saying that, that it's specifically Columbus, Illinois. It probably is, but I really don't know. I can only tell you what spirit shows me and what pops into the mind. And what pops into the mind is coming from spirit, of course. The Holy Spirit. So, yeah, so that does cross Illinois. My only real concerns revolved around the date April 8th is the fact that spirit has been warning us of huge pow pow events. Remember my visions. And I've had visions even for France, Paris. And I'm not feeling like necessarily there are planning this event on the eclipse specifically it's definitely going to ignite it as far as i in past predictions again if you're new here i had visions of multiple attacks happening in multiple countries at the same time france united states and i think uh, what was the other one uk i think england multiple places at the same time and also in past predictions spirit said that china was going to do a multiple attack, multiple attacks on more than one person. And I know Taiwan's one of them. I just recently, not that long ago, called and said that Taiwan was going to have a massive earthquake. And they just did. This is all part of, we're in eclipse season. We're not, and I'm doing this, it's April 3rd when I'm recording this. You're probably seeing it April 4th. So it's already happening, friends. We're already in the energy and bathing in it. It's just going to become more and more intense. So going back, so I had Spirit told us about pow pow events, along with warnings, if you remember, Spirit saying to avoid large crowds, to stay mindful when you're walking along roadsides and sidewalks, especially around larger groups of people. And you can guess why. It would align with some of my past predictions. There's also a warning from my visions that I had of a pow pow event taking place at a celebration, one which could resemble a state or county fair. It looked like fairgrounds to me, like almost like an amusement park. Because I, I saw rides, I saw games, I saw food concession stands. So this could be in Texas itself, being that the X marks the spot right over Texas. So I'm not saying that this is an eclipse party event that this is happening, but if there is one where there's where it's like a fairgrounds and such, be very, very cautious. And I do feel like that could be in Texas. Could be anywhere. Could be a state fair. But that came to my mind when I was preparing this, and that's one of my past predictions, actually. So Spirit shows me that there is a plan created by the evildoers who reside in China and in Iran to bring about conflict on our own streets in America. Again, I'm not saying that this is going to happen on the eclipse i don't actually think it is i don't feel like it is but there is a planned attack that spirit said and i believe that likely that would occur it could occur now between now and february of 2025 and that's what i believe is going to happen is that china is going to hack our systems as they've been doing but they're planning a major they're testing the waters first then they're going to do a major one on multiple countries and when that's all happening and they're, we're dealing with that, they're going to go in and take over Taiwan. And that could be coming really soon, being that earthquake just happened. Because I remember Spirit saying something about the earthquake and the earthquake being related to technology. Technology. I'll have to find that clip and dig it up and play it on a Tuesday show. You remember, Spirit said they were going to purposely hit Taiwan. So who's they? I don't know. I'm going to say probably China. As China is gathering their ships all around Taiwan right now. So I wouldn't doubt at all that they invade Taiwan, maybe on the eclipse. Maybe April 15th, because that's another date. And if you want to know about April 15th, you got to go to my Tuesday show, the 111th episode, where I share that. 
uh, and what could be potentially happening around that date, April 15th. Spirit shows me a van, a big vehicle, that is packed with boom booms. The van appears to be either white or beige in color. And as I'm describing this actually now, it reminds me of um, what happened in Oklahoma City back in the day with, uh, what was his name? Timothy something. You don't have to tell me. I don't care. But uh, Timothy something. You remember what happened back in that day. Sad thing. Spirit reminds me of that. And I did in my channel prediction say that a huge event, an attack would happen in Oklahoma, potentially Oklahoma City. And I thought a great shaking, whether it's a great earthquake or something else. But Spirit shows me this van or this vehicle packed with these uh, boom boom. And now again, it reminds me of what happened in Oklahoma City. So sometimes Spirit will take me back to certain events to, to say it's like that. Or, it, or take me to a specific place, like maybe it is Oklahoma City. I don't know. I can only tell you what spirit shows me. And what I did see very clearly is I heard three men, or not see, I heard three men speaking Islamic as they were driving really slowly through a small city where people were gathered. I don't know what they were gathered for. I'm not saying the eclipse, but they were gathered. Again, April 8th, you know, it could be April 8th, but I'm not going to say necessarily at all because you can't really put dates on predictions. It's almost impossible. But although Spirit has given us dates, specific events on dates that happen, but that's a rare one, but it does happen. So again, whatever this is, we can all together hold in the light and just hold visions of seeing the police pull these people over and arrest them. That would be, and if we hold that vision together, we can be powerful and make that happen so that they get caught so it doesn't happen. Because Spirit didn't show me anything other than what I just explained. I saw the van. I saw it loaded with all the boom booms. And I heard three guys talking in uh, Arabic or something like that. I don't know the language, but it wasn't familiar. So Middle Eastern for sure. So again, not necessarily a planned date, but let us hold in the vision that they get pulled over and all before it's ignited. Another concern that I have comes from another one of my recent visions and warnings from Spirit to tell folks to be mindful when walking along roadsides and on sidewalks, especially if you're in a larger group of people, say on a corner waiting to cross the street. Remember, Spirit told us that vehicles would soon be used as ramming devices and as weapons not good and we've been seeing this and spirit told us this about a month ago and we've been starting to see it so one vehicle spirit shows me is packed with gas and boom booms it reminds me of what happened up there in new york remember the uh accident and the car filled with all the gas cans it reminded me of that so there's something like that happening reminds me of that incident I see an attack occurring on, in, or near a military base, or all of the above. An attack occurring on, in, or near the military base. And I saw a large SUV type of vehicle or truck attempting to plow through the gates. That was one of my past predictions, too, of somebody plowing through the gates of, of I forget where, but it just happened with the FBI. So Spirit shows me this again with... Military bases. These don't all have to be here in the United States either, Spirit said. This is other states. It's American bases, but not just those in the United States, Spirit says. And it's not just America. France needs to be aware, and our closest allies need to be aware. I hear an exchange of fire in this vision where I saw this big SUV truck going through the gates, trying to go through the gates. And then I heard all this gunfire and the vision, boom, 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 boom. Uh, so this could be connected to the van filled with explosives. It could very well be connected. Not sure. Speaking of boom booms, I see a vision of a large boom boom in an oil refinery. And I had similar visions about two years ago. And some things do take two years to happen. But if it's coming up again, that means we're closing in on it coming into fruition. And what I said in the past is I saw major fires revolved around oil. Some of them looking like it did back in Desert Storm in Iraq when Saddam opened up all the gas and lit it on fire, all the oil wells. Kind of reminded me of that two years ago. But again, 
today specifically spirit shows me this vision of uh, a refinery or and it wasn't today i got this prediction before today but i do see it's either a, a refinery a oil gas production something like that and um it seemed to be to me near a city or in a city probably in a city because there's major evacuations it's huge and this, of course, in the long run, is going to cause problems with gas and oil production. And in the aspect that they're going to become huge targets. One target is planned inside the country itself. So our country. So I would easily guess if it's in the United States, not just the United States, but also Israel. And I'll go with uh, United States mainly. This massive fire that I saw in these visions and explosions feels very close again to a big city, perhaps Chicago, New York, Texas, or perhaps all three of those states dealing with massive oil refinery issues and fire. I would expect this to lead to my previous prediction I had from years ago of people lining up at the gas tanks to get gas and oil for their vehicles, like what happened back in the 70s. If you remember, if you're old enough to remember. And if you don't remember, oh yeah, back in the 70s, they had to line up for gas. And you'd be sitting in line for hours. And if you're lucky, they didn't run out before you got to the gas pump. It's going to happen again. It's happening in other countries. It's just going to spread, especially when we see these witnesses, oil refinery fires. And I would not at all doubt such a thing occurs, specifically on April 8th. Moving on. One thing that I would certainly expect to see on or soon before or soon after the great solar return eclipse is an igniting of the tectonic plates. The Earth's tectonic plates, which we are already somewhat starting to witness over the past two years. Look at all the massive quakes that hit last year. It was just horrible. And now look what just happened in Taiwan and in China. So this is igniting even more than ever. And however... Uh, this is going to also ignite the frequency of earthquakes, meaning that we're going to get more than ever, like series of so many earthquakes. Quakes in all parts of the world, in places that you would never expect earthquakes. We will soon begin to witness an increase of magnitude when it comes to the earthquakes, eventually leading up to the largest earthquakes in history. I feel this will be, as we close in, on the next very important and historic sky event, which will take place on Friday, April 13th, 2029. I have a video on that. If you missed it, check it out. I'll leave a link up above. Spirit says that Mother Earth is going to unleash a series of signs beginning on the 7th, the 8th, and 9th of April. Signs through the weather and through the Earth, whether they be earthquakes or big weather events, huge events. Perhaps seeing a super early Hurricane, for example, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Spirit says we're going to start to see those signs next week without a doubt. And they're going to be signs to let us know Mother Earth is waking up on a whole new level. Now, of course, the global elite, of course, are going to use this as a way to push their climate agenda. Of course they will, right in our faces, more and more, as much as they possibly can. And they know what's really causing it. They know. It's in the video I just mentioned, my, my Friday, April 13th, 2029 video. You got to watch it. It's in there and it tells you exactly why it's all happening. So eventually they want to tax people, Spirit says, in the future on the air they breathe. They're already doing that with certain water tax or something I just read. But they said they're going to find a way of taxing you for breathing. That's ridiculous. It doesn't surprise me, though. Spirit also says that the unleashing of a tsunami wave of energy accompanying the solar return eclipse will lead us to a season of the biggest storms, tornadoes, and things like we've never witnessed before. Great floods, including at least one, but potentially up to three, very, very large tsunami waves crashing into coastlines. One of these tsunamis is a little bit on the smaller wave size, smaller, if there's even such a thing as a small tsunami, but smaller than the other one, crashing into the west coast of the United States. 
So it didn't, it's like a huge, almost like a rogue wave, but it won't be a rogue. They might tell you what's a rogue wave spirit says, but it's not. It's from the earthquake out in the Pacific. So pay attention to that. I don't feel like it's a big worry or concern unless you're sitting right on the beach when it actually occurs. Then it could be a problem. So I saw that one in my visions. And I would tell my friends again on the East Coast of the United States to also be aware as the East Coast may actually be more vulnerable to a tsunami than the West Coast. As crazy as that may sound to some of you. Nothing that Spirit says sounds crazy. It used to when I was younger, but now I don't question anything that Spirit says. I might be wrong, but they're always right. So this e eclipse is going to have a great impact on Israel. And if you watched again the clip in the beginning of today's broadcast, they're doing the sacrifice of the red heifer on Passover, which is on the 22nd, which is a 22 day, which is powerful when it comes to numerology, the 11 and the 22. The global elite use that. The Freemasons and such use those numbers especially the 22, but the 11 as well. I mean, look, we had 9-11, right? And if you add those three together, you got 11 again. So lots of 11s. That's why I sent warnings to, to Boston, not necessarily about the marathon itself, but that marathon is the 128th marathon, which adds, breaks down to an 11 in numerology. And it just so happens to be the 11-year anniversary of that happening back in 2013, what happened there at the marathon before. And it's tax day. And it's the same day that the anniversary that the Titanic sank. Interesting. And the event that happened back in 2013 was also on a Monday, April 15th, the marathon. So it's on the same day, same, same date and day. Interesting, right? So keep an eye on April 15th. I'm not saying that it's happening at the marathon, but I would say definitely something around Boston or something big on the 15th of April. And that's igniting from this, from this eclipse. It's all igniting. The, it's all igniting. And you're going to see. Taiwan's nothing, Spirit says, as to what's coming in the future, the near future. And I'll talk about that because I did on Tuesday's show. And I'll go specifically to earthquakes next Tuesday's show. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Going back to Israel, again, Israel is going to have a great impact. This eclipse is very biblical without a doubt, especially when it comes to Israel. I expect there to be some kind of attack from within Israel again. If you go back again to my predictions, I said back mid last year that I saw an attack coming to Israel and spirit told us it was coming from the inside and orchestrated somewhere from the inside. And look what happened. It happened October, whatever date that was in October, sad, horrible, horrific. And they're, they're about to get it again. If they don't call peace soon, which they're not going to because they don't want to, uh, I would expect something big to happen. Maybe even also on Passover itself to try to prevent them from doing their sacrifice of the red heifer. Interesting, interesting. But I see things going boom in Israel. I see some boom booms. That could also be potentially where Spirit said a great wall will fall. Maybe it's that wall. Although the Great Wall falling, many of you took it as being Wall Street, which could very well be. The eclipse, um, so as far as power outages are concerned, I'm more concerned around the time of October, as Spirit told us in the past, that October could be when we get the solar maximum that kicks in. That, therefore, could very well and will affect some people's power grids, some satellites as well. So yes, there's going to be huge outages for places on April 8th, for places such as Texas, and even um, the big city, a big city like New York City. Remember my vision, Spirit showing me that now. My vision's looking at a big city, which very much looked like New York, and just the whole thing going dark. Uh, that would be something that China and Iran all combined with their little web of darkness. That's what they're planning. I have no doubt. That's why they're sending people over the border and paying off the administration to get away with it because they shouldn't be able to get away with it. Obviously, somebody in the inside, there's always somebody on the inside. It's the horrible thing about the world. There's always a bad guy mixed in, in there, or multiple. So, again, power outages definitely for Texas. They're going to purposely pull out Texas parts of Texas power. There's going to be power outages in parts of New York. 
And I got to go back to Illinois because Illinois pops up. Probably I'm going to say Chicago. Chicago, outer parts of Chicago, especially certain parts of Chicago get uh, uh, blackout. That would be awful. Especially in the areas where all the gangs and all the horrible people are. So beware, friends. Again, stock up. Be prepared. Always. Not just because it's an eclipse or the government's telling you. But especially because the government's telling you. If they're telling you to do this, take their advice. Even though it, it could be a big nothing burger. But it's really not a nothing burger because it's an igni ignition. ignition. It's igniting something. It's igniting the fuse. We don't know how long that fuse is. Until it gets to the to the boom boom, right? So metaphorically speaking, of course. And that's what the solar eclipse is going to do, friends. It's going to ignite. It's going to ignite things on an amazing level. I highly recommend that if you want to plant seeds to your garden, you do that on the eclipse because it's the new moon and that's when you do that anyway. Do some meditation. Bring out the magic. Step into your power. I have a video calling your power back. Do that video. Uh, or any of my healing meditations that I have here. It's an amazing time. And remember, that eclipse goes black and then it comes back to the light. And that light is going to shine on the darkness like never before. You know, the, it's interesting how the global elite, you know, they have this whole thing that I showed in the first clip in the beginning of this broadcast with, you know, bringing in their new God and their new world, world dictatorship. That's what they want. They've been wanting it forever. I remember talking about this 15 years ago, 20 years ago. People say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. But now people know now. Like, it's obvious. They tell you, just go to their website. It says it right on there. Whether you go to the UN's website, WEF's website, WEF, whichever. It's right there. So I tell you, friends, just be stocked up. Always have an alternate way to cook your food in case you don't have power. Have a grill or have some charcoal or whatever, propane. Have a way, if you can possible, to make sure your food stays good in case there is a power outage. Have a couple bags of ice nearby for the eclipse if you're in one of those areas where it's going to be overloaded with people. I would also tell you to expect there to be cellular outages. Big, big problems with cellular outages during the eclipse. Before, during, and after, Spirit just said. Before, during, and after. Before, during, and after. <laughs> That's what the spirits say. So, yeah, especially Verizon, Verizon AT&T, even part, uh, upper part of Canada may have some problems with their technology when it comes to their cellular devices and their internet connections. Not just where the eclipse is going either. I, this is just in general. Expect there to be cellular outages and internet outages. We also have that Mercury retrograde influence, which does affect communications, electronics, and motorized items. So there are going to be big breakdowns, huge breakdowns. And the eclipse is just going to intensify it even more. So, you know, remember, Mercury retrograde, do not sign papers. Do not start new things. Do not fix or repair things that are electronic or motorized because they usually don't get fixed correctly. Unless you have to. I mean, if you've got to get your car fixed, you've got to get your car fixed. Chances are you're going to end up bringing it back anyway. It's the wonderful world of the rich who create. So, again, going back to the eclipse. And they're the visions that Spirit gave me. So, therefore, I'm not really worried about it at all, even slightly. And I'm prepared as I can be as of now with everything. And I'll continue to prepare because it's not the eclipse, but it's the future huge event that's coming that we all feel. We all have been seeing it in visions as far as, again, remote viewers and intuitives. Sometimes we can piece it together as to what this event's going to be, which I've described to you. And I will do a separate video next week on this big event. The visions that I've had, putting them together and a puzzle along with what the remote viewers are getting. It's going to be interesting. But that's what I have for you for today. So do not fear the eclipse. If you can stay home and you're in that area where people are gathering, stay home. Just stay home. Stay away from the roads. Watch out for crazy people driving and again using their vehicles as ramming devices. Those are the things to be concerned about when you're out in the eclipse. And also a pow pow thing. That I said, I saw it at a fairground. I'm not saying it's on the eclipse, the day of the eclipse. It could be, because I do feel like there are going to be pow-pow events, especially in Chicago, Spirit just said. 
Chicago, stay indoors. Don't gather where there's crowds. It's going to be a big problem in Chicago. Thank you, spirits. See, talk to group of spirits I got there. Thank goodness for that, right? Thank goodness for that. Well, other than that, friends, get out there and celebrate that eclipse. Celebrate the magic of it. Write down your intentions, the things that you want to manifest and bring into light, whatever that may be. It is a powerful time to manifest. New moons are as is, but a new moon solar eclipse, bringing all your dreams into the light, that's powerful, friends. Utilize it. Sit down, write it down. When you write it, it's more powerful. Write down. Write a letter to the universe. It's uh, one of the forms that I teach in my class. Sit down and write a letter as if you're a year from now or just sometime in the future. Thanking the universe for all the things that you don't have but you do in the future. So, for example, thank you, universe. I finally bought that red Corvette convertible I never thought I was going to have. I love driving with my top down. And, you know, you get the point. Do that on the Eclipse, friends. Tell you. Powerful, powerful time. And don't forget to catch me every Tuesday for Tuesday's Tittle Tea Time Predictions Update, where we reveal, we review world events and news stories and how they may or may not relate to predictions and prophecy with new predictions each and every Tuesday. You're not going to want to miss it. Don't forget to show love. Click that love button. I thank you for doing so. And I thank all those that contribute to this channel and make this free content possible for everybody else. Until the next time, remember... To be kind to others as you wish others be kind to you. Celebrate life, celebrate you. And remember to be bold, be true, be kind, be you, because you're awesome. Get out there and let your awesomeness shine brightly. And have a beautiful rest of your day and a happy eclipse. Much love.